Well, hey everybody, we're back. It is Wednesday afternoon and I have some big news for you. The pattern testers have been hard at work. I've seen some amazing dragons. So in just a little bit here, I'm gonna show you a little slideshow of some of the images that have been sent in. So I'm not, absolutely am not an Instagram wizard. <laughs> some of them I was able to save the images and some I was not. And I'm not sure why. So I asked everybody to email me and some have emailed me with the images and some haven't. So I'm going to show you what I have, the ones I was able to capture and the ones that were sent to me. But before we do that, um, I did get the opportunity to make a couple of things, even though I haven't been able to pick up my hook for two days. I mean, like, I'm Jones in here, like going through withdrawals. I need to make something, but I've spent the last couple of days, like fine tuning everything on the pattern. Um, like reformatting it to make it a little more user-friendly, tweaking some of the things from the feedback that I've gotten. Yeah, so I haven't been able to, to hook anything, and I'm going to hook something today, one way or another. But anyhow, I, um, Sunday, I think it was, pretty sure it was Sunday. <laughs> I got to um, finish up one of the All From Jade spiders that I had started the day before. And I got the legs made the night before and then I got a little tired. So I tucked them away in the drawer so Toby couldn't steal them. And when I got up Sunday and, you know, got moving around, I decided to work on that spider and get it finished. So I picked blues and used those matching eyes again. So it was funny. You know, I had the legs made the night before and I, you start on the head and you get to the point where you get to start attaching the legs and I get around and get to the eighth leg and I can't find the leg. And I'm like, I know I made eight legs. What happened? Toby happened. And can you tell that my tripod is sinking again? I swear to you know what, I am going to buy myself another tripod. See how long that lasts. Probably not very long. But anyways, Toby ran off with a leg. I'm like, dude, he is sneaky. And I was sitting right there. I didn't even see him get it. So we had to make another leg. But uh, yeah, so I did corn flour and the blue color that I cannot remember the name of. So I got that made. And then I said, you know what? This tripod is sinking again. I don't know why it does that. Pardon me. Um, I saw I have those two things that I haven't finished, that I started. And one of them was because I ran out of yarn and I needed the um, ballet pink. So I finally got the ballet pink in. So I decided I was gonna finish the strawberry cow. So I did. And I don't know. I'm not sure I'll make this one again. Usually, when you make a cow, their little muzzle part is too big. This one, it's really small. So I expected this to be a lot smaller than it is. And to me, it looks like a strawberry pig. 
Now, it could be because I probably should have went with the all black eyes instead of giving it green eyes, but I was thinking it's a strawberry. It needs green eyes. It needs a little more green on it. But yeah, it kind of looks like a strawberry pig to me in the face. So yeah, I don't know if I'll do this one again or not. I mean, it wasn't hard, but like you had to sew on the ears, you had to sew on the horns, you had to sew on the muzzle, you had to sew on the arms, sew on the legs, sew on the tail. Everything was sewing. Um, even when you made the strawberry, you had to sew the strawberry into the arms. Now I thought the legs were a little floppy, so I tacked it down on either side so it would sit better. And so, yeah, if anyone wants to buy it, whatever they see, that's what it is. If they see a pig, it's a strawberry pig. If they see a cow, it's a strawberry cow. And that's just how it goes. Then the last thing, and this is what I made Monday. I was trying to time myself to see how long it would take me to make a dragon. And I started it Sunday night, like I had the horns and the ears, or I had the ears, the legs, and the tail made. So I still needed to make the um, the horns and the wings, and then of course put the body and everything together. So I decided to use pom-pom on this one. And if you're gonna use pom-pom for this pattern, one skein is not enough. I was five rounds short of completing the everything in the pom-pom. So I had to get into another one. And if you were gonna use bloom, that definitely wouldn't be enough because that's even less That's even less in a skein. It only has 87 yards. The pom-pom uh, has 109. So, bloom or pom-pom, one skein is not enough. The regular Parfait Chunky is plenty. Regular Bernat, you could probably get two or pretty close to two out of it. Um... Yeah, so I did the pom-pom. I used tangerine. I did the bobble spikes. Thank you, Marsha. And I did his wings in the black glitz. But I did one little thing because I wanted to uh, get more of a point on it. So I added a pico right at the tip of the wing to give it more of a point. And I did not write that into the pattern because I'm not quite sure if I, if I like that or not. Um, I gave this one brown eyes and I had a tough time like picking what color to use with this pom-pom pom -pom yarn because all the color specks in it kind of look like neon. And the one neon color that I have is green, and there is no green in it. So, yeah, that's what I did. Now, I have to tell you, Heather is so lucky, and I am so jealous. She was able to finish her test dragon before she went to market on Sunday. And she sold it like that right away. And the reason I'm jealous is because I haven't gotten to take mine to market yet. <laughs> she got to be first. And it was the same thing with the axolotls. She got to be first with those. And she sells those really well. Um, she even sold one of my minions this weekend, this past weekend. She did really good. So... Let's take a look at the slideshow for the images that I have so far. And I'm going to try to remember their names, <laughs> which picture belongs to who. 
some of them I know like off the top of my head and some of them I'm gonna have to look up um but the one person who's like photography skills are like spot on is Marsha over at Mimi Makes Keys Keep I can say this Mimi Makes Keepsakes her photography skills I just like it's gonna blow you away wait till you see these so we have um, Marsha with Mimi make keep, makes keepsakes. I can say it. I swear I can say it. Uh, Heather with uh, Cottontail Crafts by Heather. Crafty Sue 519. A Parlin Designs. Um, oh, I can't remember all the names. <laughs> The ones that, yeah, I can't remember all the names. I know I'm still waiting on a few. Um, most people are finished, but like I said, I couldn't get all the pictures for whatever reason. Instagram just does not like me. I actually figured out how to do a reel, kind of. And then I was trying to figure out how to do a story. And I think I left this tag like right in the middle of the screen where it shouldn't have been. And it like blocked the whole view of the dragon I was trying to show. And yeah, so one of these days I'm gonna get that figured out. All right, so let's take a look at the slideshow. Wasn't that some amazing work? I'm like blown away at some of the work. A couple people, Heather, uh, Marsha, um, A. Parlin, and oh my gosh, one other person. This, the Savvy Stitch, this Savvy Stitch. <laughs> They've already made like two, like boom, boom, real quick. And I'm just, I'm getting so excited because everything is almost finalized. And the plan is to go live with the pattern to release it on Saturday the 27th. But if all goes well, it might be released a little early. Not sure yet. Not sure yet. So, <laughs> I have to tell you. Being in a large chat group full of 18 people is very interesting. First off, it was, I've never set up a chat group, figuring that part out. So I was able to do that, and then I missed some people. And they're contacting me, uh, did you make the chat group yet? Can I be in it? And I'm like, oh my goodness. Yes, of course, I'm sorry I missed you. <laughs> it's like crazy. So we had a couple of little um, accidents in the chat group. There's been a few butt dials for like video calls. So like I'm laying in bed, I think it was Monday morning and I was sound asleep and all of a sudden my phone goes off and it's like six o'clock in the morning. I'm like, startled me. I about jumped out of my skin. 
and I looked and it was like hung up immediately. And I just was like, okay. And I lay back down and I tried to go back to sleep and it did it again. So I was like, oh my goodness. And that was like the second time that it happened. The first time was the night before. Somebody did it by accident. This time again was by accident. It, you know, they're all saying it was butt dialed. Um, then there was one other time that was by accident, but it was like later on in the afternoon and, you know, it wasn't like, hopefully wasn't interrupting anybody's night's sleep because, you know, with all the different time zones, you never know what time it is somewhere else. Cause like when mine went off at 6 a.m., if you live in California, it was three o'clock in the morning. And what's the first thing that goes through your mind if your phone rings in the middle of the night is something bad happened. So yeah, so I had to make a little comment. You know, everybody, please be mindful. I know that those were accidental. It was not done intentional. But everybody, please be mindful of the different time zones because it's it's hard. I mean, my phone has been going off like crazy so Monday night, I had to put it on mute just in case. Because like, you know, if I want to go to bed at, say, midnight, it's still nine o'clock in California. So it's not late to people in California, but it's late for me. Um, or even like, I think Heather and one other person, Monique, they're like an hour earlier than me. So if it is... 11 o'clock for me, it's midnight for them, and it's only 8 or 9 o'clock in, in California, and then you, there's a person from Germany, and yeah, so it's tough keeping up with time zones, so that might be a thing, too. It's like if you're doing a tester call, say you're going to do only the East Coast or only the West Coast or only the UK. That way, everybody's close in time zones <laughs> and it won't be like people getting upset because their phone is going off. But yeah, so I put mine on mute and just to get some sleep. And it it felt good. It really did feel good. I didn't hear any cha-chinging from Etsy. I didn't hear... No uh, YouTube notifications, no email notifications, no Instagram notifications, nothing. It was just like total silence and it was wonderful, just wonderful. So yesterday I spent the day working on the pattern, like reformatting it, trying to clean it up a little bit, make it look a little nicer. I know most of, most people read it off of their tablet or their computer or whatever. I'm a print person. So I was trying to be mindful of both. Having it look good for people who look at it on their devices and then also having it to where it won't expend a ton of ink. But when you add pictures, you're going to use a lot of ink. So there was... um only one, one error, like in my uh, description of the pattern, it was on the ear. Like I wanted to say four increases, but I said eight single crochets, which technically it is, but it's separate. But that was an easy fix. And there were a couple of other things that needed a little bit of better explanation. But I think we've got it. I think it is, honestly, I think I could release it today, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I want to make sure it's right. I'm going to send a copy out to all the testers and they can all glance over it and take a peek. And if anybody sees anything, then they can let me know and I can correct it before I list it on Etsy. I tried to get some good cover pictures and all that. I need Marsha's photography skills, because I'm telling you, hers are like just fabulous. And uh, 
yeah, I'm just getting really excited. This is going to be fun. Everybody so far has just loved the pattern. Um, they've been happy with the results of their, their dragon from the pattern. And it seems like most people have picked the spikes, the bobbles. Um, some people went, that did two, like they did one with spikes, one with the stripe. For speed, the stripe, because you only have two ends to work in. The bobbles, because it's a surface bobble, you've got, depending on how many bobbles you put on there, so I put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. I put 14 bobbles on this one. So that was 28 additional ends to have to work in. <laughs> so yeah. Um, gosh, I'm just getting excited, you guys. And with all of this going on, I have a market Saturday and I haven't done anything to prep for it. I mean, I was, and then I wasn't. And I'm thinking, oh, I've got time. And now time's gone and I only have a couple of days and oh, well, it is what it is. Um, I mean, I did get a few of the things because I bounced around my list. I think there's only one thing that I didn't get to, but those are quick and easy and small. And so I can probably sit down and get, you know, five or six of them made in a couple hours and be good with that. I mean, I have plenty of mini birds. I have plenty of the mini octos, the stingrays. I did get a, manage to get a couple of cows made. I didn't get, I wanted three of the one cent, one cent crochet cows, but I only got to one. And then I tried that other one that was the free one from, if I remember right, Rosalie Toys. So I have two of those. So I have a couple of cows. And then I have, is it Madeline Mako or, oh, I don't remember. But I have the longhorn cow and another one of the cows, I think. I don't know. I still have to go through all my totes and figure out what I'm going to take with me. And then, this is crazy. For the month of May, for definite for sure, I have three markets. Possibly four if that farmer's market doesn't mess up again. This is their last chance. If they... Don't have me down like they were supposed to last time. It's not going to happen. Ever. I won't go ever if they got it messed up this time. So, possibly four markets. It's going to be crazy, but I have a lot of stuff. I have a lot of stuff. Um, I'd like to sell some and not bring it all home with me, if you know what I mean. Then, I got an invitation which is probably full now because I didn't respond because I, it made me panic a little bit. In June, uh, like the 8th and 9th, I believe, it's a Saturday and Sunday from 11 in the morning to 6, there's like this big watermelon festival. And I was invited to that. But I was concerned because I might possibly have the four markets in May. Like, would I have enough product to handle a two-day market like that after doing four markets in a month? And then, you know, that cuts into your your making time and stuff. So, I didn't apply. And it, and it wasn't just so much that I was worried about not having the product, but it was like $200 for the two days. So, you know, with it being a higher price like that, the potential for making some decent money is definitely there. Plus, one of the markets that I'm doing in May is by the same coordinator that's doing that festival in June. So, it'll give me, doing the one in May is going to give me an idea of what type of crowd that she draws and is it a good idea to keep doing markets with her? I mean, we'll find out in May. And I'm sure by then it'll be too late to sign up for the June. So, 
yeah. Missed opportunity, I think, for sure. But I just, I don't think I could be, I don't think I could have enough product to do that after doing four, three, possibly four, plus the one this weekend. So like five markets in five weeks, and then I'd get a week off in between and that for a two day. I don't think that I could do it. I don't think I could be prepared for that. So one last thing. Apparently, my struggle with a particular pattern and the way decreases were done, um, how do you say it? Created a big conversation. And I just want to say this. The way you do a decrease, however you do it, whether you... If it's written for the pattern, then that style of decrease isn't wrong. But it needs to be explained in the pattern how the decrease is done. Just like you tell somebody how to do a bobble stitch in your pattern or how to do a pico in your pattern or how to do whatever stitch, you need to explain how your particular decrease is done because the responses and comments that I was reading some people do it this way, some people do it this way, some people do it this way. So the patterns need to explain exactly how it is done for that pattern. I would have never in a million years guessed that the way a decrease stitch is done can affect the outcome of the pattern as much as it does. Never in a million years would have thought about it. You know, they say tension. Well, maybe that's what the whole tension issue is. Maybe they do a particular stitch different from what the norm is. So the, that particular stitch needs to be explained in the directions of the pattern. Yeah. <laughs> so I had a thought go through my head that I wanted to say, and now I don't remember what it was that quick. Should we play some crickets here? <laughs> I don't remember. And I know it was something that to me was important that I wanted to say, and I don't remember. Jeez. Oh, <sighs> Just gone in less than 60 seconds. Just gone. <laughs> all right all right you guys i'm gonna go hang out in heather's live she does a live every wednesday at 5 p.m no every wednesday at 6 p.m eastern it's five o'clock for her six o'clock for us no i got that backwards seven o'clock for her six o'clock for us and i think three o'clock for california I don't know. These time zones really got me messed up. But I'm going to go hang out in her chat. And because I get to play moderator and kick the trolls out. Um, and see what's happening. And get this edited. So you'll probably see me on Thursday. And uh, the only thing I can suggest is check my Etsy. And see if I released the pattern early because I can't tell you right now if that's what's going to happen. I can just tell you it might happen. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go play moderator. <laughs>